Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, uh, welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing out there this morning? Good, I hope I hope you're having a great morning. Hope you have a great day today, by golly, all day long. Let's get to crack lacking. If there's somebody you know that's struggling, they're having a real hard time, they're working on changing their life and doing better, help them out. Don't knock them down. Don't kick them all the down. Try to help lift them up. What, ask them what you can do to help them get to the place they're trying to get. How can you be of service? What can you offer them? Instead of throwing their past in their face and knocking them back down again and making them feel like a piece of crap, try helping them out. The past is gone. It's over. It ain't coming back. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. The future's not here yet. All you got is today. If you can help someone have a better day, you're helping them change their whole life. If you just kick them in the face or kick them in the gut, throw their past in their face, that's just going to drag them back down. It's going to make them feel guilty and shameful and all that stuff. And maybe they're going to head back in that wrong direction. The best thing you can do is encourage them to keep doing better. Help them find ways to keep doing better. If somebody you love is really struggling, why wouldn't you want to help them out? How would you want to be treated? Would you want somebody to throw you a pass in your face? Kick you while you're down? I know I wouldn't. I'd rather somebody was helping me out. I'm certainly going to get a lot farther. If somebody keeps throwing you a pass in your face and kicking you while you're down, you're apt to repeat it. Whereas if someone's helping you along, trying to help you do better, giving you some strength, pointing you in a better direction, loving you, that's going to help you do better. Now, I'm not saying enable somebody. There's a big difference between enabling them and helping them. When you enable them, you allow them to keep doing the bad behavior that's causing them and everybody else pain. When you help them, it might be tough love. You might have to say some things they don't like, but say positive things. Say what you mean, but don't say it mean. Throwing the past in the face and knocking them down, that stuff, that's certainly not helping anybody. That's just going to drive them back into their old ways. So, ask yourself a question. Is the things I'm doing and saying helping here or hurting? And if they're hurting, maybe you ought to knock it off and try helping. Life is tough enough. Especially when you're in a bad place and you're trying to change your life and trying to do something better. The last thing you need is somebody knocking you back down. That's the last thing you need. You need somebody to help you up. Now, if you look at one of the great teachers of all time... Jesus, he helped anybody who he came in contact with that wanted help. didn't matter whether you were rich or poor, beggars, lepers. It didn't matter. If you needed help, he helped you out if you wanted it. If you didn't want it, he left you alone. So that's another thing. If you're trying to help somebody and they don't want it, they absolutely just don't want it, then leave them alone. Move on. Let them do whatever they want to do. Uh, but if somebody is really trying to, trying to do better, the best thing you can do is help them along the way. Teach them something different. Show them something different. Show them that you care about them and that you're willing to help them out. Instead of just crapping on them, that doesn't do any good at all. That just causes more pain, and pain is more than likely what caused them to get to where they are in the first place. So anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Be of help. Be a helpful type person. Be of service. Not somebody that kicks somebody when they're down, but help them when they're up. And uh, listen, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Over.